So I have an awful lot to talk about when it comes to Cardano. Let's get to it. So let's start here on coin market cap. The total market cap of crypto globally is down 2.38% at the time of recording and stands a whopping $1.63 trillion. So just as we said, expect a sell the news event. That is what we are seeing here. And um, look, I do think that we will see a reversal soon. So don't panic right now but potentially some good buying opportunities at least in my opinion bitcoin is at uh, 41,304.96 down 2.74 percent in the past 24 hours and let's take a look at cardano down 3.01 percent in the past 24 hours and stands at 0.4994 so look those are the markets as they are but let's dig into cardano so we've got this here cardano eyes 13x price surge to seven dollars as patterns echo the 2020 pre bull run um set up so look i think that seven dollars is a very realistic price for cardano this bull market i have come out and said publicly that i do expect that this is going to be the biggest and the longest bull run we've had in history so look i wouldn't be surprised to see prices like seven dollars per cardano's ada becoming to you know fruition so this is going to be really interesting now a few people got their knickers in a twist when i called out dan for what i think is just him talking nonsense look you know you might like dan but you know in my opinion everybody in this space needs to be doing better the it, i mean to me it's clear the sec uh, lawsuit with coinbase is not impacting cardano in any way like i highlighted it using facts highlighting the fact that you know whales are still buying if they were really that concerned about cardano would they still be buying cardano's ada I don't think so. So look, I think what really matters currently is, you know, the actual financial landscape outside of crypto. And I think that that is more important and has more influence on where the price of crypto, be that altcoins or Bitcoin, is heading in the coming weeks, months. Uh, and look, we've come out and we've said that we should be expecting a crash. And that hasn't changed and i again see the comments from individuals talking about you know flip-flopping and all this nonsense there's different time frames and if you're not intelligent enough to understand the difference between you know uh, an hourly time frame a four hourly and a daily for example then you know i don't know how much we can we can help you here at cheeky crypto it's one of those so there, there is no flip-flopping we still expect a crash we expect this to happen off the back of a fed pivot and i don't know how many times i've said this i've been saying this for months I think, you know, I am should be vindicated in, you know, kind of this prediction in the respect that Mark Zuckerberg has been selling stocks. In, you know, the last two months of uh, 2023, he was selling millions upon millions worth of dollars worth of his company's stocks, Meta. And he's not the only one. Go do some research some due diligence. You know, ultimately, governments uh, tend to make the wrong decisions, right? And they've got a fight against inflation. We're going to be heading into a pretty serious uh, recession, in my opinion, not just in the UK, but the US and other parts of the world. And when the Fed does decide to pivot, expect an almighty crash in stocks and crypto. And this is what we've been saying for a long time now. So look, uh, if you like Dan, that's great. Maybe this isn't the channel for you. If you want to have honesty, transparency, and somebody that isn't just, you know, talking about God and, and preaching and shit. So, you know, it's kind of my thoughts, my opinions. You might not like it, but at the end of the day, that's my thoughts. That's my opinions. BitBoy was preaching uh, and, and talking about God and all that sort of stuff. I just don't think that that is really necessary in, you know, what we're doing. You know, who was going to the events for, you know, Cardano events and other crypto events all around the world uh, in a bear market uh, where there isn't a lot of money 
um you know dan or or cheeky crypto you know uh owners you know it was us dan wasn't at any of these events so you know you might support somebody that talks passionately about cardano but what are they actually doing for the ecosystem it's just my thoughts my opinions and uh you know you could have yours I'll, I'll have mine but you know they are what they are and um you know at the end of the day you know it, it's one of those uh enough said so let's just move on from that we've got uh, uh jamie uh, diamond um bashing bitcoin again calling it a pet rock i just think that there's just lots of nonsense going around at the moment like this guy in, in my opinion um has a track record of doing this bashing stuff that he's actually buying whilst he's bashing it uh, again here you know he's you know recently said the, to you know the the, the people the people in power i guess uh that if he was uh the government he'd close it down again referring to bitcoin just nonsense right like um this is just to scaremonger people out of uh blockchain and bitcoin we got crypto firm ripple explored ip Oh, outside of the US because of hostile SEC uh, actions. Uh, they won't be going public anytime soon. So again, something really quite big and something we should be uh, keeping an eye on. I do think, you know, just circling back to the whole, um, you know, Coinbase SEC lawsuit impacting altcoins, although I don't believe that that is actually what's happening. Um, the federal judge has grilled Coinbase on the SEC uh, whether digital assets are securities. So look, uh, I think the Coinbase are going to win this case anyway. I think it's going to have very little impact on, on the altcoin market. Uh, Hong Kong crypto exchange hash key hits unicorn status with $100 million funding round. Um so yeah, look, this is really interesting. Uh, we've got uh, it's now valued at more more than one point two billion dollars after pulling in capital from OKX Ventures and others. So look, really interesting to see this. And why is this important? We need to know which are the most, I guess, li li liquid, liquid. I can't talk today. Liquid. Uh, exchanges so uh there you go there's one for you uh we got elon musk reveals surprise crypto holdings i don't really know how much of this is actually a surprise but he holds uh bitcoin ethereum and uh you guessed it dogecoin so there you have it the taiwan's new president a blockchain fan uh it has to be said is already setting up new crypto rules so look lots of positivity coming out from around the world and i think this is really really good uh, coinbase tells judge that buying crypto is like collecting beanie babies really interesting uh, aspect and a different way of looking at it i suppose not sure i agree but you know again uh, coinbase are handing it to the sec what i really want to know is what do you think Elon Musk should add to his portfolio. Should he add Cardano's ADA? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, mash up that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.